you can say a big amen. Every of your sorrow today becomes a testimony. The louder your amen, the bigger your miracles. I say today is the beginning of new things in your life and your household. I decree and I declare you will not shed a sorrowful tear this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. From today, your heaven is open. Can I hear you shout a better amen? Oh, glory be to God. Father, thank you for your grace in our life. Thank you for the privilege we are having to be here together once again. We are happy because God answers prayer. To you, God, be the glory for all you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you because you are the pillar of our life. You are the strength of our portion. We appreciate you, Daddy, because there is none like you, because you are in charge and you are in control at all times. Your name be exalted, Father. To you be the glory. As we go into this prayer today, we know you are already here before we arrive. And we know that your power will see us through, will help us through to pray fruitfully and pray excellently to the glory of your name. And testimony shall be our portion. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' beautiful name we pray. Amen. Brethren, we want to thank you for being there. We want to thank you for being ready, even for this prayer today. And we know, we can assure you, that this good God that we pray to, that answers prayer, it's always there at this point in time. It's always also, it's already awaiting us today. And as we go to this prayer, oh, testimony will follow. Ah, testimony, your testimony will be, will, will even will manifest even this time around. We shall rejoice together in Jesus' name. Moving forward is the is the prayer focus we want to pray on today. Everything that God created that has life has the ability to move forward. Anyone that is not moving forward, then something is wrong somewhere. If there's anyone that is having life that is not moving forward, it means that there's something that is holding it down one place or the other. And that is why today, God is going to break the chains. Anything, any power, any forces that may be holding you down, that may be retarding your progress in the spiritual and the physical, that may be holding you down from satisfying God's purpose and fulfilling God's mandate, the Lord will destroy them today by the authority in the name of Jesus. And that is why I want us to start this our prayer and begin to appreciate God. That Daddy, we thank you because we have you always as our Father. We have you as our strength. We have you as our pillar. We have you as our assistant. We have you as our support. Can you begin to appreciate him? Daddy, we thank you because we have you as our all in all. You are our strength. You are our pillar. You are the glory of our life. You are the beauty of our life. You are the Lord that sustain us. You are the Lord that help us. We appreciate you. Daddy, we appreciate you. Jehovah, we appreciate you. Because you are beautifully good. Excellently great. We appreciate you for what you have done. Even this far. And helping us this far. Even to this hour, to this day, to this year. Even this far in this year. We appreciate you, Daddy. Because by the authority of your word, you are granting us victory at all times. Thank you for your grace that has sustained us this far. Thank you for what you have done. Hey, we appreciate you, Daddy, for the manifestations of your power in our life. Manifestation of your glory in our portion. That is your name be exalted. Thank you, Father. Because you have been the assistant of our life this far. You have been the great that we have enjoyed this far. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Can we begin to pray unto him that Daddy will release ourselves unto you? We want, oh God, to manifest yourself in our life. Oh God, the Yoruba city, you say, Fimidara to war, Fimidara to Joyeloju, that is manifest yourself in my life in a great way. That will marvel, be marvelous to people. Oh God, I want you to prove yourself in a great way. That will be so wonderful that people will know that God is only God that is doing it. 
Prove yourself in my life. Manifest your beauty. Manifest yourself. I release myself to you. Oh God, break me, mold me. Reach up on me to fulfill my day. Reach up on me to fulfill purpose in life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus Christ, powerful name we pray. Amen. I read from the Gospel of John chapter 11, verse 43. And when he does have spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And verse 44 says, And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was also bound about with a napkin. But Jesus said unto them, Lose him and let him go. We want to pray unto the Lord, that Father, the hour for me to move forward has come. Jesus Christ him himself realized it is one thing that Lazarus came forth from the grave. He was resuscitated back to life. His life renewed, new life given to him, but he was still bound. But God, therefore, Jesus, therefore, said, Loose him and let him go. Brethren, this is areas of people are missing this this day. And salvation is one, but for you to enjoy that freedom is another. You want to pray, God, yes, I am saved, but I need to enjoy that freedom. I need to enjoy you. I need to move forward. You want to pray unto the Lord that God, let your power of authority locate my life today and move me forward by the power in your name. Shall we pray that prayer unto the Lord? Oh God, I thank you because I am saved and I pray for those that are yet to be saved but that God, that your hand of salvation will rest on them and work in their system. And Lord, we are therefore praying that funded salvation is the foundation but we want to move forward to fulfill mandate. Therefore, Lord, we decree and declare that your authority will move us forward in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yield to the divine directive you, my life, as from today, I speak to you, my life, only ye to define the directive of the living God. As Jesus Christ released his word, to go to Lazarus that was in the tomb. Lazarus had, the destiny of Lazarus had, and he came forth. I pray, therefore, that my life, you to define the directive of Christ today, that you move forward, that you are set free and move forward. Lose him and let him go, Jesus Christ said. You, my life, you are set free. Oh, yeah, from any area of charcoal, from any area of obstruction, from any area of disturbance, I say, my life, I command you to be free and move forward in the law. You are set free. Move and begin to fulfill God's purpose. As of today, bet, move better and do better and perform better to God's glory. In the name of Jesus, can you begin to pray unto the Lord that, Father, I know I can move forward and I can do better. Let your grace work it out for me by the authority in your name. Pray that prayer unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I know I can move forward. I can, I can do better than I had done in the past, in the spiritual and the physical, ministerially and secularly. I pray therefore that my life, oh God, will move to the yes, higher pedestal, move to a higher level to fulfill God's purpose and mandate in life. And I speak into your life as you are praying this prayer, that your, your, your life will move to a higher level, move to the next, next level, even of fulfillment, God's fulfilling God's purpose, fulfilling God's mandate in the name of Jesus Christ. You want to say, my life must fulfill mandate. Therefore, every hindrance is give way in the name of Jesus. Everything that has been holding me down, everything that has been, been, been barricading me, as from today, I clear you off. I declare that the hands of the Lord cut barrication off. And I declare that the hands of the Lord locate me and move me forward in the name of Jesus. Oh, guys, it is your authority my life was waiting for. And the authority has come today. As the destiny of Lazarus was waiting for Christ's authority in those days, even in the sepulchre. But when the authority came, his destiny received it and revived. I therefore pray in the name of Jesus Christ. But that my life received yes, the authority of Christ today and move forward. And move forward in fulfilling God's purpose. Move forward in destiny. Move forward. Accomplish God's giving go. Move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that the enemy put on my way, we give way today. As from today, give way. As from today, no more hindrances. No, no more obstructions. The power of the Lord led the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. You want to say, I am moving forward. I refuse to be stagnant any longer. In the name of Jesus. I refuse stagnation. Therefore, I declare, I begin to move forward. Moving forward in a greater dimension. Moving forward in great authority of Christ. Moving forward with the power of victory. Moving power forward, oh God, in the power of deliverance that God has given unto me. As you spoke to Gideon, that go in this might of yours. I move forward in this might of Christ has released it to me today. 
to fulfill God's purpose and fulfill God's mandate. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to begin to do, begin, you begin to see that future, beautiful future that God has for you. Therefore, all those things that send me put on your way, oh, that does not want you to achieve that future, they give way today. Oh, God, remove them by the authority of the law. Remove every obscurity from my view and let me see clearly as to be able to remain focused on God to the destiny you have proposed for me, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, and it shall be well with me. Oh, I you will fulfill purpose, I will fulfill mandate. The joy of the Lord will manifest in me. Can you begin to pray for your family? Say, my family will fulfill God's mandate. My family will fulfill God's destiny. In the name of Jesus. Every obstruction that enemy put on the way of our children, on the way of the wife, or the wife of the, or the husband, that want to use it to deter us from fulfilling God's mandate, that Lord clear them off by the authority in his name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, do it to the glory of your holy name. And your joy will be our portion. You say, I'm moving forward. I refuse to be stagnant. Yes, say it again loud clearly. I am moving forward. I refuse to be stagnant. And yes, my family is moving forward. I refuse to be stagnant. <clears throat> my children moving forward. I refuse to be stagnant. My wife moving forward. I refuse to be stagnant. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You say, my life will be filled with the testimony in all areas. You want to pray that prayer. My life will be filled with testimony in all areas. My life will be filled with glorious testimony, beautiful testimony. The testimony that expands the Lord's kingdom. The testimony that brings people closer to God. The testimony that will be fortifying the church of God. The, the testimony that will yes, inspire people to serve the Lord. The testimony that will help people to know that God is in control. The testimony that will know that God is in action. The testimony that will make people to know that yes, it is good to be on the Lord's side. My life begin to be, 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 be yes, I enjoy good God testimony. Good testimony. Every day. As from now, henceforth, I will be, uh, yes, my life will be full of testimony. Divine testimony. Excellent testimony. Powerful testimony wonderful testimony, fruitful testimony that will bring glory to your name Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ thank you everlasting Father because you are good and in control, you want to pray unto the Lord that oh God as I move forward from today I will no longer disappoint you I will no longer fail you. Can you pray that prayer of determination unto him? God, as we have chosen to move forward from today, we decree we shall not disappoint you, we shall not fail. Oh yes, your power will sustain us, your grace will carry us on. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree that your power will fortify us. We shall not fail, we shall not falter, we shall not disappoint you. It shall be well with us. Thank you everlasting daddy, because we are in control and in action. In Jesus Christ's excellent name we pray. Amen. And I release the power of God into your system. As we pray this prayer today, I decree that testimony will locate you. I pray that yours, it is time for you to, 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 to move forward. Time for you to rejoice. And anything that want, any enemy want to use or have been using against you all this way, I cover, I, I declare that the blood of Jesus wash them away from your system. Any any deposit of evil in your body, I declare blood of Jesus flush it away. Every tree of evil planted on your way, the hands of the Lord uproot them. I declare the angel of the Lord go ahead of you and give you victory in all areas. Go and enjoy God's peace and God's happiness will locate you and dominate you. In Jesus Christ, powerful name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, brethren, for giving us your time. Thank you for being there. Thank you for your testimony that we'll be hearing. And thank you for your support in the spiritual and even in resources. As this work is not what we can do alone, we are all working together to expand the Lord's kingdom, to bring souls to his kingdom, and not to fulfill God's purpose and mandate. Therefore, please don't hesitate to assist in all areas that God has laid in your hands to do, both in your resources and in your prayer. And at the same time, in your encouragement. The Lord will continue to fortify you and add more value to you in Jesus' name. Don't forget to search us out on our YouTube channel, Act Film Network, where we have a lot of upload there. And more are still on the way coming to benefit you and benefit your family. We pray that both you and we, the Lord will count us worthy in his kingdom. We shall not fail, we shall not falter, and we shall not disappoint him. God willing, next Friday we meet again to pray. And I know before then, your testimony galore. The door is open unto you now, and we shall rejoice together. Have a beautiful week. Have a glorious day. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Bless you. Why is your family has told the Lord never said this to you? our channel, Mountain of Solution Ministries International. Please, we want to plead with you to not forget to you know, subscribe to our channel, comment, like, and share. 
please let us do this work together. God bless you. Love you. Love you.